All right, what's going on, you fam? Read in here. Reset is finally here. We got Ultra Gogeta 4. Probably one of the more crazy looking Ultra units within the game. Uh, pretty fitting as the final release for the six year anniversary. This guy's banner is unfortunately kind of crappy like all the other Ultra banners. So we got the Gogeta. Uh, we got the Tag 4s, which are dated at this point. We got the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, who could probably be a decent bench at this point. Um, we got LF Super Saiyan 4 Goku, who's definitely bench. Really good Z ability, though. And we also got LF Super Vegito, who would be a fantastic Zankai buffer slash bench unit for the new Ultra. But otherwise, yeah, the roster does not look that great. Uh, they, they almost went out their way to make sure the banner was doo-doo. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Good old Ultra banners. Obviously, they're not, they're not the kindest banners for people summoning but uh we'll do our best it is uh it's the same format as all the other ultra banners and that it's what three paid multis and then the last one's free but there's a, a 2x ultra rate in, in step two so hopefully this is not too painful let's go ahead and see it is two minutes after reset and already a dozen people have tweeted that they got the guy and that it was easy. This happens every time a new banner drops. Just boom, 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 boom. Just in, like rapid fire. Once they pull the unit, they immediately go and they at me on Twitter and say, ah, easy pull. <laughs> Speaking of a good bench, that guy would have been a great bench. It's, uh, it, it's always funny to see. Uh, this guy is... Uh, Oh. Okay, this guy on paper seems like quite a troublesome unit to deal with. I won't lie. He, uh, he seems like a problem. Wow, Brawly animation. He seems like a problem. Um, you may have noticed his unique gauge counters out pretty much every melee based move. But this also includes uh, ultimate cards now. But one of the states that has his unique gauge work is him attacking. No crack screen. Cool. But well, one of the one of the states that G4 can be in for the thing to activate is attacking. So try to imagine that scenario. If you you know, time a blue card against him using a blast card and it's a melee blue or a, me a melee alt. That means that the unique gauge is going to proc instead. So you cannot catch him in the middle of a blast card with a heavy hitting move. Same is true if you PV the guy. If you PV him and you try to go for a melee blue or your ultimate, you can't hit him. Is that not insane? Just a, just the thought of that makes you realize just how frustrating this unit is going to be to uh, to fight. And then the cherry on top is uh, he's got so much defensive utility. I mean, if his health falls below 50%, not only is he going to heal, but he's going to charge up that unique gauge. And then he's going to start taking type neutral damage. I don't even want to know what it's going to be like to fight a 14-star uh, variant of the guy. That'd be awful. <laughs> So some preliminary thoughts is uh, this guy is going to be quite a tough guy to deal with. So I guess the, the trade-off to that is um, defusing Gogeta Blue got a tremendous amount of value simply from Assault Chain. Uh, assault Chain disregarding counter gauges uh, is huge for him. So between Gohan, Universal Cover Change Boy, aka the new Ultra, and all the other crap, uh, yeah. That guy got a lot of value. I wonder if I wonder if Trunks and Vegeta could also fall into that category, because don't forget that they actually reduce uh, health restoration percentage. So Trunks and Vegeta with the whole blast goes into blast stuff. The only downside being they have no ranged blue. Uh, I don't know, maybe maybe they got a couple points in their favor because of that. 
Alright, come on, Legends. Let's hope this isn't painful. Um, on another note, we also, in the data download, we don't have the Sin Shenron Zenkai Weakening. So, so Sin Shenron Zenkai Weakening is not going to be this week. It's going to be next week. Okay, what a multi. But I was saying, I, 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 Majub Zenkai definitely would have been uh, better than Yellow Sin Shenron, but that is what it is. So I think Yellow Sin Shenron for next week, and then maybe, maybe they do a free-to-play character just to be like a teaser for the next theme that they're going for. It'll probably be a calm period. And then we go straight to Legends Fest, because honestly, time goes by fast. We are in July already. Alright, all your band is definitely demonstrating in full force <laughs> how they are not exactly the best banners to summon on. They're really just meant for you having a already established, really top tier team. And then you just need that cherry on top for uh, a, a top tier team. The whole cake, the whole dessert, the whole whatever is already set. You just need that last finisher. That's why they made the character so damn hard to pull. Ah, they got to an ultra. Wait, what? That's fine. Lots of fusion warriors. A uh, fusion warriors actually, you know, with Gogeta's equipment options as well as the bench that's available to him, Gogeta is going to be pretty tanky. Um, he has a piece of equipment that gives him like 13% max HP. And then there's another plat equip that gives him 10%. And then I think he can nab another 10 to 12 from a piece of equipment. Once you factor in LF Super Vegito on the bench, because that guy is like one of the best benches for him between the max HP, Zenkai buff, and Z ability. And then if you pair him again with, uh, you know, maybe the yellow using Gogeta Blue, so you have Gotenks on the bench. The dude's looking at like, what, 60% max HP from there alone? Yeah, the fusion warrior tag is going to be so tanky. The man is going to be tanky as hell. We are rapidly approaching painful territory. I'm really debating that skip button, but I don't want to mess it up. The last time I skipped, I skipped myself to two new LFs, so it would be it would be pretty crappy <laughs> to skip two ultra poles. Not saying it would happen, but you never know. All right, who am I kidding? We're just gonna, we're, we're probably skippity skip. I don't wanna, I don't wanna drag this on forever. Ah, nope. We do not wanna see that. Ah. Jungs animation? Uh, just a straight up victory. All right. Speaking of things you want to see, what do you guys think is going to be the theme after this? Once we once we get to that cooldown period and they got to pick a theme to start covering things, what do you think it's going to be? I think it'll probably be something slow for like three, four weeks, and then maybe they'll jump into buffing up future, and then we'll have like a future campaign 
And then maybe we do Tournament of Power for a festival or something like that, maybe? I think the, I think the down period is going to be short. With the, uh, with the CMZ Zenkai, VB's Plat, Trunks and Vegeta's Plat. I don't know, something just told me that maybe we're going to be seeing future somewhere, but they decided to just not do it at all. Ooh, IT. Ended up not doing any future at all. And I guess you could argue the the stuff that may have implied future were just hinting towards God Key, but I don't know, they, they kinda disrespected the heck out of God Key. I feel I feel so bad for God Goku fans that uh, waited for this guy for so long and uh, Yeah, you get some pretty tough competition soon after. Even within his own release, it was somewhat controversial and then the opposition that he got just made it all the more difficult for him to stand out. And here we are. I know those feels though. Dragon Fist with the uh, with Red Pan and then soon after the Ultra Broly and then soon after Ultra Gogeta Blue. It, it was just chaos for that guy. Mm, I don't know man, these, are, these aren't too hot man. Ultra Banner is doing Ultra Banner things. Oh, this looks good. Ah, uh, we just need that Chunks animation. Damn. The camera cut. I'm like, holy crap, we got it. Ah, it's just a straight win. There's no new animations and that hasn't been for a while now. I wonder when they'll, they'll side and say, okay, fine, we're going to do new animations. I wonder when. Which year is it going to be for them to say, okay, it's, it's been a while. This is a hype period. Let's, let's, let's throw some focus over there. I wonder when. Nothing that crazy right away. Alright. Just keep skippity skipping. Hold in text again. Whis? Ah, uh, oh, he's super Vegeta though. Yeah, look at that. Nice job, Super Vegeta. Thumb pose and everything. What do we get? Kale and Khalifa. Uh, nice. This is a scam, too. Unless Bardock shows up, it's a scam. What color is the text? If it's rainbow... Ah. Big ol' yikes. Big ol' yikes. Big ol' yikes. I don't even know what to say at this point. I usually take a nap between the period where it's, uh, you know, maintenance starts and then a data download hits and we usually cover that if there's anything new and then summons go live. So I I was pretty much out like a light 10 minutes ago and now I'm like, it's like trying to, it's like trying to start uh, an old like Diesel Volkswagen in minus 40 degree weather. Just do, 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 do. my brain is still not even braining right now. <laughs> so I have I have no conversation pieces. I'm slowly turning my brain. And then the worst part is is um the the stupid three hour gap between when PvP goes live. Oh, this is him. This is him. This is a guaranteed new character. Let's go, baby. There we go. Yes. But the three-hour gap between when summons go live and when PvP is live is a nightmare. All right. Look at that.
That looks so good. I love their I love their creative um, uh, changing of what the camera angle is looking like when it comes to capturing their poses. Sometimes he's facing downwards. Sometimes it's a straight shot. Sometimes it's off to the side. It's very cool. Oh, what Bola's here? I can actually use Bola. But yeah, like I was saying, the uh, the three hour gap usually messes me up because I, I try to go back to sleep and then it's just double whammy of just, ugh, bruh. Cool. All right. Do, do we finish? We're going to finish the rotation because we're here. There's a times two step. I don't really expect myself to pull any more copies, but, you know, may as well do it because it's there. And then we'll just wrap it up there. Thankfully, it wasn't too, too painful for me. I hope... Oh. Isn't Whis being featured? So, it's definitely going to be... If we lose this, then we know it's another Ultra. Otherwise, it is very likely we get that doo-doo LF choice. Or winning. It's probably one of the doo-doo LFs. I, I highly doubt it's going to be an Ultra. But I'm pretty sure Nimbus on these Ultra Banners is featured. It's not just sparking and above. Yeah, there we go. Poo Poo LF. Where's Poo Poo LF number two? Hmm. I'm just going to skip it. Okay, and there you have it, gentlemen. The summons for Ultra, Goge Ultra Gogeta 4. Let me know in the comment section below how your summons went. But be on the lookout for the showcases. Let's just see how chaotic this character actually is. But until next time, guys. Peace.